Well, hello, my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the Introvert, and I'm wondering, how do you all like our nice spring weather outside? Doesn't it look nice and warm? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It was snowing again last night, and now today is very blizzardy out there. There's a strong wind, and the snow is coming down, and the roads are covered in ice, and schools have been canceled. Nice spring weather we're having here. <laughs> a chilly day Joshua and I are staying home um, we have some hot chocolate here this is Joshua's marble mug that he's gonna have his hot chocolate in it's quite full I should give this to him so he can drink it and I have some hot chocolate as well I'll show you my nice mug here full of hot chocolate and I'm combining wintry things with spring things today I'm actually going to do some spring cleaning. Not a lot, just some. I want to start in the kitchen. So my first project for spring cleaning downstairs... Oops! <laughs> I just bumped into my mug here. My first project for spring cleaning downstairs is to start with the stove. So I'm going to pull open the bottom drawer of the stove and clean the inside of the stove drawer and then I'm going to pull the whole oven and stove out from the wall and do a cleaning all the way around on the floor, on the walls, get that started. I think that's a good starting point. So my friends, if you're interested in keeping me company as I work on that project, that would be super. I have some nice cleaning products on standby. I have my Mr. Clean and an extra one here if I need it. There's my Mr. Clean spray bottle. I have some of these that I can work with. And I have some cleaning cloths and cleaning rags in here. So I'm all set. And I think, oh, there's my bucket there that I can use if I need it as well. So I'm all set, my friends. And I'm just going to get that task started. Joshua's in his rocking chair, and you can see his mug beside him. And he's looking out the window at the stormy, wintry day. In this oven drawer, this is where I've been keeping my bread pans, my pie plates, my bunt cake pans, and things like that. So I'm just going to get these all moved out of here and get this all cleaned up spick and span. I have my pans, at least some of them, soaking in this hot soapy water. And I'm going to wash all of these. They're already clean, but for my own peace of mind... I want to get them all cleaned up before I put them back into that that drawer or wherever I plan to put them. I'm still debating whether I want to put them in that drawer of the oven or put them in my cupboard. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh. 
from the wall and I have it unplugged here's the plug here so my next step is to well just very carefully wash down the back but I won't get it too too wet of course but just wash down the back of the stove itself and then proceed to the walls behind me and get the floors all, all swept and washed and Probably the sides of these counters too. You can see my hand here. <laughs> I'll probably um, wipe down the sides of the counters while I'm in this very closed in space. So those are some of the things I have left to do, but I don't think it'll take too long. It's not too, too bad back here, but uh, the afternoon's going fast, I find. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're all here. My hair is a little bit of a fright. It's a little messy, <laughs> just from all the cleaning, I guess. I try to keep it all brushed and looking nice for you all, but <laughs> oh my. Anyhow, anyhow, I'll look nice later, eh? <laughs> so I have my Mr. Clean bottle here and my washcloth, and I'm just going to wipe down the back. I'm not going to put too, too much Mr. Clean on this because I don't want this to be soaking wet, like saturated. But just enough that I can get maybe some of the dust and stuff that is on here. Just get it tidied up a little bit before the whole thing goes back in its place. So I'm going to take care of this part here now. And then proceed to the wall, the floor, and the sides here. That's all wood. So I'm going to need some wood cleaner for that. So I better hop to it because I want to get this done. In the next couple hours, I want to be done. <laughs> that way I can relax a bit. Well, I'm making really, really good progress here. I got this here area cleaned. It had some cooking grease on it. So what I used to clean all this was some warm water, some vinegar, and some of this Dawn dish soap. It's my first time using that combination, those three things, water, Dawn dish soap, and vinegar, and I was just shocked and surprised how well that all came clean, all of that. So I wiped it all down. I still have the top here to do, but I'll get to that. And I also washed this here filter in water, vinegar, and Dawn dish soap. And I just couldn't believe how clean and how easy that was to come off with those three things. So I just have to put that back there. I'm going to need two hands to do that. but I just have to put that back up there. Right now that's drying up there. And I washed this wall here. It looks a lot better than it did. There's just a bit of dust there. So now it's all tidied up. And for the flooring that we have... I was a little bit worried on how to clean the floors because where we live we're just renting so I definitely didn't want to use a chemical or a cleaner that would kind of damage the flooring here in this apartment that we're renting. So I looked it up and well, what do you know they suggested water, Dawn dish soap and vinegar and I did use that on the floor and that works like a charm too. <laughs> that's a really that's gonna definitely gonna be my go-to cleaning solution for the next little while I think when it comes to certain things definitely gonna be at the top of my list I'm just really impressed it was my first time using that solution actually and I'm really really impressed how good of a job it all does so my next step what's my next step well I'll bring you down here my friends bring you down here this is all clean I wipe this down because there's actually a little bit of cooking grease on this wood here. So I I use that same solution, <laughs> water, 
vinegar and Dawn dish soap just to get some of the grease off here. But when this dries, I'm going to use, oh, what's it called? Murphy's Oil or Murphy's Oil Soap. I'll show you the bottle. <laughs> I'll show you the bottle. I forget the name, but when it comes time to cleaning this beautiful wood, I'm going to use that just to keep the oils in. I don't want this wood to dry out. So on to my next project, and that is just sweeping the floor here. Again, there's the floor. I'm going to sweep the floor again, swiffer it, and I think I'll be done the floor. <laughs> so yes, it's happening quicker than I thought it would. So that's really good news. <laughs> I'm still in my little cubby hole here and I have some nice clean um, cleaning rags here, cleaning cloths. And I'll show you that bottle I was mentioning earlier to clean this wood here. Here it is here. This works really, really good and it keeps the oils in the wood and the wood doesn't dry out. This works really, really well and it smells really nice too. So that's what I have next on my list is to work on this. And I, I'd lift the bucket of <laughs> cleaning solution to show you that has this in here, but knowing me, I'd probably spill it all over myself. So <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you that right now. Here it is here. You can see some of the suds that are in there from this Murphy's cleaning soap here, wood cleaner, concentrated wood cleaner. So the next thing is to get this all taken care of. And also, also the wood behind me here needs to get done. So I'm going to do that now. And it won't be long when the stove can be pushed back up against this wall and put back into place for the night, for the day. <laughs> No, I'll be done. So it'll be good to get this done. I just plugged the stove back in because in a moment I'm about to push it up against the wall, put it back where it belongs. And I'll show you what I did to the sides because I cleaned both of the sides. I cleaned this part here. This is still a little bit wet. And I cleaned that part as well. So I'll show you what the sides look like. This side here is all nice and spick and span. And so is this side here. Now it's time to put it back where it belongs. A job done. Well, my friends, I think I'm almost done for the day. And I think that I'll do the oven part of my stove tomorrow. It's getting late in the afternoon and I have to put the Mr. Clean away and the cleaning rags away. And the cleaning rags that I used, I put it, have to put in the washing machine. And just got to get things tidied up on the countertops before supper time. And I wanted to show you what I put in the bottom drawer here. This bottom drawer here. Because I put something different in there this time. I'll just open this up here so you can take a peek. I have my bread pans here, various sizes. Those are the larger ones. These are these ones here are smaller, definitely well used. And in the back, this was actually given to me as a Christmas present this past Christmas. 
And underneath, I have my wonderful pans for making muffins and cupcakes. The bigger ones are here, smaller ones are there. So my bunt cake pans, I'll, I'll find a different spot to put them. They're obviously not going to fit in here this time. And my pie plates, I'll find another spot for them as well. But I thought it would be handy just to put these bigger items in. So they'll be a lot easier for me to get out when I need them. Just like that. Once in a while you might hear a, a banging sound, but it's quite windy out and I hear it banging something in there. Maybe it has something to do with this fan here, the wind affecting the fan part, making a sound. <laughs> so if you're hearing noises throughout this video, it's the wind blowing and I think it's affecting this area here. <laughs> Oh my, there's always something, isn't there? Well, I must say it's been a great day hanging out with all of you. And thanks for keeping me company as I did some spring cleaning. I'm really happy with what I got done today. And like I mentioned, once I get all of the cleaning solutions, the Mr. Clean and the cleaning rags and all that put away, my kitchen will be back to normal and I can get ready for supper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's about that time that I'm thinking about supper. So my friends, thank you again, your awesome company, and if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. My hands look dirty. <laughs> I've been washing them a lot, but they might still look a little dirty. <laughs> okay, where was I? <laughs> and I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye. Bye.